Okay, I'm going to start um, a series of videos kind of going over Ludwig Wittgenstein's Tractatus Logical Philosophicus. It's in this book, which is the of the major works. Um, and uh, I kind of want to go over, I guess, some things that are at least fundamental to the first um, the first few pages at least um, so I'll say I'll kind of read things off and then talk about it I have a video which I made back in January which is called uh, Vic and China's Logical Atavism um, Bertrand Russell had a very similar logical atavism but uh, um, basically this was like a dissertation by Wittgenstein, uh, where Russell was uh, on the committee to um, uh, to give to uh, to uh, decide what to to decide whether to give Wittgenstein a PhD or not. Read this and said it was genius. Said it was basically genius. So it's pretty. Um, important and fundamental in um, early early analytic early analytic philosophy number one the world is everything that is the case the world is the, is the, is the totality of facts not of things so Wittgenstein is going to employ a, sta a state of affairs or of facts um, and this is logical atomism because um, a fact is um, kind of basically the atom of the world, the thing that can't you can't get any you can't get any more fun, fundamental than facts. The world is kind of made up of facts, can become bigger and bigger things, which we will get into. Um, and uh, state of affairs or facts are kind of the basic building blocks of the world. Um, the world is, de is determined by the facts, and by these being all the facts. Um, the facts are in logical space are the world. Um, the world divides into facts. What is the case? The fact is the existence of atomic facts. An atomic fact is a combination of, of objects, entities, and things. So. You can get kind of like with an atom, you can break them down into quarks and stuff like that. But with like objects, entities, stuff like that. Um, but the fact is still the basic, the basic building block of the world. In logic, nothing is accidental. If a thing can occur in an atomic fact, the possibility of that atomic fact must already be prejudged in the thing. If I know an object, then I also know all the possibilities of its occurrence in um, atomic facts. In order to know an object, I must know not its external, but all its internal qualities. Everything is, as it were, in a space of possible atomic facts. I can think of the space as empty, but not of the thing without 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 the space. Um, facts are in the logical space of the world. Um, so this is logical atomism in that youth can think of things as logical atoms, think of facts as logical atoms. And that is basically the basic building block of the whole world. Um, objects contain the possibility of all states of affairs. What is a state of a state of a, a state of affairs? Um, it's a set of there a group of things being in a certain way. Um, the door being a jar. That is a state of affairs. Every statement about complexes can be analyzed into a statement about their cons cons constituent parts. 
into those pr propositions which, which completely describe the complexes, and that is compositionality, that to understand a molecule of facts is to break things down into the facts and, and each fact its constituent parts. Um, objects form the substance of the world, therefore they cannot be compound. It would then be impossible to form, to form a picture of the world if the world had no substance, then whether a proposition had sense would depend on whether another, another proposition was true. So the world has substance and then you can get a picture a picture of the world. Now we'll get into what a picture of the world is. It is clear that however different from the, from the real one an imagined world may be, it may have something of form in common with a, with the real world. Um, substance is what exists independently of what is the case. Um, so there is a um, foundation for the for the metaphysics for the for the metaphysics of the whole world. So in kind of what is going on here is a bit of a metaphysics of the world, um, rather. Um, it's a logical atomism similar to similar to Russell's. Um, substance is form and content, and that's kind of like a a hylomorphism. Space, time, and color are forms of objects. The configuration of the objects forms the atomic fact. So how objects can be, can be configured together and how things can come together and how facts can compound on one another. That's just basically a basic, basic metaphysics of what he's kind of forming. In the in the in the atomic fact, objects hang on, hang one in another like the members of a chain. So in a way, they dovetail. They can kind of just loop into each other and are in that way interrelated. In the atomic fact, oh, uh, the form is the possibility of the structure. The totality of existence. Atomic facts is the world. The the existence and and, not, and non-existence of atomic facts is the reality. Atomic facts are independent of one another. The 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 total reality is the world. And here, two point one, big one. We make to ourselves we make to ourselves pictures of facts. Um. The picture presents the facts in logical space, the existence and non-existence of atomic facts. So the way things are, are the way things are. are. And a picture can become in our mind through logic and, 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 and understanding how things are in the logical space of the world and how they are atomic facts building up to be, if you would say, a molecule, whatever. We can have in our mind a picture of the way things are. We make to ourselves pictures of facts. The picture is a model of reality. The elements of the picture stand in the picture for the objects. So we have here a correspondence theory of truth in a very brief and very basic way. The correspondence theory of truth is that the things that we believe, the things that we think, the way that they are true or false, there is a way to test them as to how they are true or false. The pictures that we have of the world, the way we think about the world, the beliefs we have about, about the world, that is essentially a picture. And a picture can be tested as for its truth by corresponding correctly to the, the totality of facts, the ultimate, the ultimate reality. The picture is a fact. The form of re re representation is the possibility that these things are combined with one another, as are the elements of, of, of the picture. Thus, the picture is linked with, with reality. It teaches up, it reaches, 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 uh, reaches up to it. 
it is like a scale applied to reality. So he's kind of giving that a little more here. Um, only the outermost points of the dividing lines touch the objects to be measured. Um, let's see where I want to stop. Let's stop at three. In order to be a picture, a fact must have something in common with what it pictures. The picture represents its its objects, its its object from without. Its standpoint is its form of representation. Therefore, the picture represents its object rightly or falsely. If the form of re representation is the logical form, then the picture is called a logical picture. Every picture is also a logical picture. Logical picture can depict the world. The picture has the logical form of representation in common with with what it pictures. The picture depicts reality by by, re, by representing a possibility of the of the existence and non-existence of atomic facts. The picture represents a possible state of affairs in a logical space. What the picture represents is its sense. So kind of have some meaning going on here too. So kind of what's going on here is we have a metaphysics that he's kind of building on, on itself while also kind of a correspondence theory of truth um, and kind of a thought about meaning also embedded into that. In order to, to discover whether the picture is true or false, we must compare it with reality. There is no picture which is a priori true. And then number three says the logical picture of facts is the thought. So we'll get onto the thought in the next video on this. Um, so kind of like I said, what's going on here is um, uh, um, things having to do with what well, he's kind of building a logical atomism, a metaphysics, which is the logical atomism. A, lo the, a logical atomism is a form, is a kind of metaphysics. Um, it's a metaphysics that does um, have to do with thinking about things logically, um, thinking about the way things are in a logical manner, not like logical in the sense that we're thinking about it rationally, but logical in that we're thinking about how things logically relate to one another. And like I said, also, he has a correspondence theory of truth forming with the idea of a picture. So let me know if you think I should have included something or I left something out or did something wrong in the comments below. Thank you.